Hello my dear listeners, viewers and students. Welcome to Fahad's tutorial and this is Fahad Hussain. This video is about uh, the Rutherford's atom model which is known as solar model and this is the fifth lecture of my video series titled structure of matter. You know that in your chemistry book this chapter is a very basic and you must know these experiments and uh, to come up with some good shape of like electron configurations. So before going there I need to explain this Rutherford model which is known as solar model. So in 1911 Rutherford experimented alpha particle which is actually the helium nucleus emissions experiment and from that he stated some, some sort of like statements and these are number one. I wrote a very key words in that the positively charged dense central core known as nucleus. So if I if I just if I just uh, copy from the book the written is that in the center of atom there is a positively charged dense central core. In this dense central core there is called nucleus of the atom. It means that if I state that when when Rutherford experimented that in the center there is positively charged dense central core and this central core is known as nucleus. So that nucleus named come from the Rutherford solar model. And then compared to the whole volume of the atom, the volume of nucleus is negligible. That means we see that most of the space inside the atom are vacant. And just imagine the mass of nucleus comparatively to the atom is negligible. So according to Rutherford's statement, the first statement is that in atom there is a densely central core which is known as nucleus and this nucleus is actually positively charged and the volume of nucleus comparatively to the atom is very negligible but most importantly the mass of nucleus is the core according to the atoms so that is why from the statement of Rutherford firstly we can say that the center of the atom known as nucleus. Number two. Number two is atoms are electrically neutral. It means that that the number of protons which is positively charged ions, the positively charged particles inside the nucleus and round there will be a negatively charged electrons. So the number of electrons in atom and the number of protons in an atom, the same atom, would be equal. So, so that is why we know that in my earlier classes I already explained the charge of electron is minus 1.60 times 10 inverse minus 19 coulomb and the charge of proton is also plus 1.60 times 10 inverse minus 19 coulomb. It means that electrically atoms are neutral that means the number of electrons in the outer shell and the number of protons inside the nucleus are same are equal and that is why the atoms are electrically neutral according to Rutherford's and then number three number three there is two words which is called the centripetal force and centrifugal force what are those what are those? Actually, uh, Rutherford stated this model as like a solar system and that is why it's called solar model. Like, what is going on in the solar system? All the planets are revolving, same, having the center of sun. But in here also, the atoms, what's going on? Like, focusing on the center, in the nucleus, the electrons are revolving. So, as electrons are revolving, electrons are revolving same Rutherford stated that it's like a solar model so based on sun as all the planets are revolving surrounding so that is why the electrons are equally in similar way revolving around the nucleus 
And for that reason, as it's moving from here to here, so if these electrons, as it is negatively charged and this is positively charged, these electrons is attracted by the protons because of their different charge and as electrons are moving from that movement it also has a centrifugal force to come out from the center so when it's moving its own shape it will have two different force so when we see that a bike racing when they are having a curve and turn around they are just just getting with, with the soil and so that they will have a centrifugal force to maintain their own race so that is why this negatively charged electron is facing similar type of forces to the centripetal force and to the centrifugal force are same that is why it remains same directions in, in, in case of evolving uh, around the nucleus so here it would be like centri, centrifugal force which is coming out and this is the centri, centripetal force which is actually towards the center. So that is why when electrons is moving around it will face two different type of force. Number one is centripetal towards the protons towards the positively charged nucleus and the centrifugal force which is actually coming away from the center both are same that is why they can evolve uh, around the atoms so Rutherford stated these three things and these are that in the center we have positively charged dense central core known as nucleus number two atoms are electrically neutral as because the number of electrons and the number of protons are same and number three is when electrons revolving around the nucleus then the centripetal force and the centrifugal force are same so that it can remain uh, the similar pathway so this is actually the Rutherford's model and the next class I shall explain what are the limitations of Rutherford models and then after chronologically I shall upload the Bohr's model and also the limitations of Bohr's model so see you on the next class stay well stay blessed Bye.